working to make it even simpler, uh, which I'll, I'll touch on a little bit, uh, the limited amount that I can speak about. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's as simple as you've got, a, you've got a SAG number that you want to use in your production, and you quite literally just give us a call. Or you can visit our website, which has a document we call the preliminary information sheet. It's a simple questionnaire. It tells us a little bit about your production, sort of what your budget is, what you're shooting. And the sort of threshold questions that we're really trying to get at are, A, do you have a member that you're going to use? Uh, and two, is this entertainment, something that is, you know, designed to entertain. It's not a commercial. It's not uh, something other than that. And, and three, is it, is it going to new media? Is it going to be on the internet or is it going to be on some sort of mobile device or something, you know, akin to that? And really, those are sort of the three threshold questions that we ask you. We want to know who you are, and, and that's basically it. And we'll help you get started. Our contract is incredibly simple. It's uh, a negotiable, uh, almost completely negotiable uh, uh, fee structure. The only thing that we ask is that you, if you're providing credits to anybody, that you will provide one for the actor. That if you are making uh, any payments to the actor, that those uh, are accompanied by what we call a pension and health contribution. So there's an additional uh, element that you'll, uh, an additional amount that you will pay to the actor's pension should you, uh, should a uh, payment be made to them. Um, but again, that's also negotiable. Their work hours and the terms of their work are all negotiable. But as a producer, you want to think about things like state laws that, that deal with, you know, uh, wages and working conditions. But aside from that, it's really that simple. It's those are, that's sort of the threshold and spectrum of questions we ask you. That's a four-page contract. Do you have to be a corporate entity to be a signatory? No, exactly. no, absolutely not. Uh, that you know how you run your business is up to you. Uh, we need to know who's going to be responsible for for employing the actors. But it, you can be an LLC. You can be incorporated. You can be an individual. You can have a DBA. You can, whatever structure is best for your business is fine with us. Okay. And when you're talking about negotiable, um, does that still require working under a contract? Yes. I mean, what I'm talking about is, is in fact, the, the terms of the contract. But the contract itself stipulates that you can pay the actor whatever you and the actor can agree to. So let's say, uh, you know, I'm a producer and I, I don't really have a very significant budget. And uh, I am hoping that at some point in the future, I will make some money by, uh, you know, through uh, ad revenue, let's say. I can create a contract with my actor where I will defer compensation to that actor. And we'll, if the actor is willing to accept that, that's fine. Um, and we'll pay them some percentage of that ad revenue at some future date. And are there templates available yeah, to help producers? Yeah, absolutely. You know, along with signing um, with Screen Actors Guild, you sign a contract with the guild, basically. That makes you what we call a signatory producer. That establishes these sort of rules and regulations that I've just described. Along with that, we give you some paperwork that you'll use in the process, but it's pretty simple. One of which is a sample template contract that you can use with the performer and it outplays some of these types of contingencies like deferred compensation or what you might pay them initially and what you might pay them later or what you might pay for overtime. So it gives you something to work with. And that's also something that we will we'll certainly help you with. I mean, as a, you know, one of the other benefits, I think, of working with the unions is that this is something they do all the time. You may be a producer, you may be a very prolific one, and maybe you've produced two or three or four things. You know, I this year was involved in some degree in hundreds of productions. And I have a team of, you know, eight of us that see them all. So there is a lot of knowledge that we can help impart and we can help you get through some of those questions and some of those difficult parts where you're trying to figure out how should I be doing this. And we're not going to tell you what to do, but we'll give you some ideas and some spectrum that you can think about. And does it matter what state you live in? No, not at all. I mean you can you can produce anywhere. In fact in addition to uh, the states that you live in, we have deals with foreign uh, guilds as well, where we uh, sort of help each other to work with union members from one place or another. So, we can help you with that. Too.